Boy, What's up, YouTube? <laughs> Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Keith. <laughs> I'm Zach. I'm Mary Jean Uzumaki. Hey, y'all, let me that. You know the vibes. Y'all seen the picture. Y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know why y'all here. Dimash. I can aid 2021. This is a special Patreon request from April F. One of our good friends. One of our uh, redeemers who uh, gave us some concert tickets. She's the best. Definitely. That was yeah. definitely love. Yeah. And it's Dimash, too. I know Chelsea about to be somewhere. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, we already know what bro get into. We know bro body. Let's jump into this. <laughs> I think I missed the first Dimash joint y'all did. He's God's here. He's like one of the best voices okay. I've ever heard in my life. In your life? In my life. Not just K-pop. In life. Nice. Let's go. You know how niggas crying? Is that what we doing here? Is this our guy? This the boy who we was like, we thought he had, the, he might have had a better voice over watching you. But let let us know.
gonna jump right back down. He did like a, he did a vocal jump without even like. Right into it. I, that's so hard. That's so hard, bro. Come on, what are we doing? Whatever you trade for, dog, you won. Switch this joint to a bird. <laughs> you getting that track for everything is worth. Duh, that shit got me so emotional. I almost cried. <laughs> I don't know. I don't follow a lot of things. He really has the infinity gauntlet for like singing. <laughs> you know what I was thinking when I was watching? Y'all remember the Fifth Element? <laughs> <laughs> like, but like he diva. can sing, he can sing, he can sing, sing. You like, know what the crazy part is? Yeah, like most like most session. songs, like when they when they get to the second part and they want to turn it up, they go up an octave. Mm -hmm. He dropped just so he can give you more power. And when he went back up with more power, you forgot that. Oh yeah, he was just up there the whole first half of the song. Yeah, he fucking killed this job, bro. That yeah. was insane, honestly. Like, yeah, that's why I gave bro a lot of props earlier when it came on. I've heard a lot of great singers. Like, I've been blessed for my grandparents, my mom, dad, cousins, and everyone to play music for years around me. Vocally, bro is like up there with a lot of people, and he's not that old neither. And it's just, yeah, his this, vocal range is insane. This is this is different. When we watched. This is a miracle. Yeah, when we watch one of the first Jones, <laughs> when we watch one of the first Jones from him and shit, it really felt like just a vocal exercise. Like he really was just doing shit just to kind of like flex. He um, play yeah, if if music was playing in heaven, I would assume it's this. <laughs> you know, if they was like, "Yo, it's a party and shit," and other you know, turning up. <laughs> turning up. Like, who all there? Who who all there? there? Just Dimash is there. All right, bet. Would you say seven? Dimash and Tupac want to do it. <laughs> this is definitely but like he was orchestrating something with his voice like he felt mm -hmm. like he was just controlling the room with his voice like it was insane that you shouldn't be able to do this yeah so like i use the phrase like throwing your voice around like especially when you like do crazy runs and that one he did earlier was just nasty where he went like super high and just dropped it down with like no with no rap like that's so hard to do because you're like you're breathing and you're sending your voice from two different places and it just was seamless. Like, there was no break, no nothing. It was just disgusting. Yeah, I feel like you can't even classify, bro, because, like I said, you don't want to call him, like, a tenor or something. And, like, he said he hit the baritone joint at the end just to let niggas know. Mm -hmm. Just to hit you with that retrograde hum. Even uh, his uh, styles, um, I forget what the two joints is called. One is staccato, mm -hmm. um, when you verbally, you know, go like that. What's what's the opposite of the, um, do y'all know? Um... Yeah, it's like it's like kind of like a direct. I mean, it, all that to say, whatever cadence it looked like he wanted to play with, he was able to still keep ranges, jump out of ranges, and do whatever. He's he's just kind of doing whatever he wanted to do mm -hmm. on this track. Um, I get it, man. If if you know, how you'd be like, "Yo, such a, you cried at the concert. Like, what was yeah. it? It was this." <laughs> None of your fucking business. None of your fucking business. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm lost for words, man. I'm good, man. Bro's, bro's great. I, I can't wait to react to some more stuff. You know, he definitely is greatness. Yeah, for sure. It really would be like an honor to listen to him. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like this voice appeases a lot of different people. 
um, remember how we talked about uh, like not even being funny. How like um, we know particular Italians who think singing is a certain way. You have like church folks that think like singing is like another way and stuff like that. And it's just depending on I guess like who you're around, singing may be something else. This seems like he seems to have a voice that can kind of do go in at any crowd you mm-hmm. want him to be in and shit like that. He can literally do whatever he want with his voice. Yeah. His voice is flexible. Song is very beautiful. They should put him in movies. He could just sing all his dialogue. The his way voice he can too strong for tracks, man. It yeah, seems like he can only, he only be doing this kind of. His voice may be too strong for like tracks. They're like, you don't, don't put production over there. <laughs> I mean, this is voice essentially production. It's essentially like an opera song. Mm-hmm. The way he can c- control his voice throughout the whole song. This is a good. Like y'all say, go high, go low, and it all looks so effortless. Yeah, I'm done, man. We get we'll do, yeah, y'all good, man. It spoke for itself. I got cut this off for a cry. <laughs> this shit had me thinking I left my dog at home and I don't have one. <laughs> it's like Opera Drake. <laughs> Opera Drake. Oh my. Yep, you guys. While you guys are sitting here thinking about whatever you're thinking while this song is playing, <laughs> hit that subscribe button. Like, comment. Share. Let us know who your favorite vocalist is ever. I want to. I want to test the room. I like that question. I like this. Question. Yeah, I want to. Want to. Want to read the room. And this out of K-pop, just in general, like who your favorite vocalist is of all time, male and female. And it doesn't have to be just one person. Y'all can list kind of like five people. I really now I kind of want to read the room and, and see some you things. You know what the crazy part is too. Before you started doing all this wild shit, right? Like <laughs> this, this impossible <laughs> shit. I was gonna like yo. He reminds me of like. Um, when I was diving into like Mark Anthony and then things like that, and like his ballads, like people see him as JLo's husband, but if you know, you know, the dude's voice is fucking crazy. And he was there until shit like this started happening when high notes and, and runs, and then it's like, okay, well, no, that's not even a comparison because Mark is good, but he don't hit that. But like, just the power and the the way he was belting out the notes, his breathing technique was like Mark Anthony to me up until a certain point. Then it became like Pavarotti and. Shit like that. Um, Bro took two breaths just to hit you with the... Yeah. And he killed it. (laughs) And again, it it looks so easy, man. It just looks so easy. Hashtag Redeemers, man. I know the homework assignment, man. We're going to let y'all peace.